Hello guys, uh, this is Shaw and in this video I will show you how you can share your media files from your laptop or from your desktop and then directly access them from your drive box. So if you have a lot of movies and TV shows stored on your computer, you can just directly share that, that folder on your network and then access the same folder from your drive box. So you don't need to move your files within a pen drive or a external hard drive and then connect it to the drive box. But now I will show you how we can just directly access uh, the, those files from your drive box. So the first thing to do is, the first thing to do is to make sure that your drive box and your laptop or desktop are connected to the same internet connection. So if I go here at the bottom, you can see I'm connected to Django, and my drive box is of course connected to the same network. So make sure your laptop or desktop. Uh, and your drive box are connected to the same internet connection which I have already done and after that you can go on to open network and sharing center here open network and sharing center I will click on it and it opens up this page and on this page you need to make sure that uh, the connection that you are connected to is showing as home network if it is showing like work network or public network you can click on it I'm clicking on it and it shows these options and you can click on home network and click apply and it will switch to home network so you need to make sure that it's connected to home network because file sharing and other things are easy on a home network so once this is on home network uh, we are done on this page and I will close it and if you're using a Windows 10 machine I would like to say that the procedure is the same though the interface uh, looks a little bit different but the procedure is totally the same so after we are done with the network and sharing here and we're making sure that we're connected to the same internet connection on both of our devices, after that, you need to share the folder that contains your media files. You can see on my desktop, I have a folder here, media files, and I will go ahead and, and share this. It contains some movies and all. I will just go ahead and share this folder. I will right click on it and then go on to properties and then go on to sharing here you can see there is general and then there is sharing go on to sharing then go on to advanced sharing here click on it and you can see there's an option that you need to tick check share this folder and then you click on permissions here and then you give uh, full control allow and make sure that all these three are tick checked and then click apply then click ok and then again click apply and then click OK so and then this window you can close it because we have shared the folder and we should be able to access the same folder on our drive box so I'm closing this window so we have shared this folder on our network and we should be able to access this folder on our on our drive box also if you have a, if you want to share a whole network uh, or whole drive like you know I have backup J or I have untitled one if you want to share the whole uh, you know drive then you can just right click and in the same fashion properties and then uh, sharing and, and all, all that stuff that I showed you. so uh, as I have shared these uh, this folder now we'll go, um, we'll go back onto our drive box and access the same files uh, from our drive box right now we are back on our uh, drive box now so you can see uh, uh, I am on the home screen of my device, uh, my Droid Box, and from your Droid Box, you need to go on to your apps. So go on to the circle with six dots. For me, it's going on to the circle with six dots. But if you are using an older version of Droid Box, you will need to go on to my apps or apps. So for me, going into apps is from the circle with six dots. I will go into my apps, click OK, and then I will go into ES file explorer app so ES file explorer app click OK on it you can see it opens up this page and within this page you can see there are many options on the left hand side so you can see we have favorite we have local we have library we have network we have tools from there we'll go on to network and then we'll go on to LAN click on LAN 
and then at the bottom you can see there's a scan option click on scan and you can see once I clicked on scan it is showing on my computer that I shared uh, files from you can see that it's showing in the background there is Tijani PC so I will just cancel the search because it's already showing my uh, computer in the background so you can see there is this computer I will click on it so once I click on it it, it shows up uh, the username and password prompt so we'll need to enter the username and password so I'm going ahead with that username is Tijani okay and then the password of your computer so username and password of your computer so once I've done that click OK so you can see and uh, now there are, these are the folders that I have shared from my computer so you can see there is media files folder here so if I click on media files folder it will open up and it will show up these files and then you can go ahead and play them uh, with whatever you want like uh, there's bridge of spies if I click on bridge of spies and then it shows you know how do you want to play it so you can just go ahead with Kodi or MX player or something like that so you can see how easy it is you know just share the files on your network and directly play them on your drive box so that's how you can share your files on your network and directly access them that's it for this video uh, cheers for now bye bye